Alrighty, let's check this out. Turns. Alright, and then... Why is it so hard to find a good man? Yeah, I think that's the right idea. I think in terms of coming down, you know, you can have a slight... You know, imagine her head is tilted this way. So her body is going this way, but because of the friction on the wall, her head is still like this. So that when she's down and starts talking, then she can start leaning it over. So there's some visual complexity there. So it's not just so stiff. I mean, I know you said you haven't gotten to it yet, but uh, just in general. And then that's cool. Cool idea. Watch it. It's a bit broken. How far those wrists bend. So they're probably a bit more like that. A bit more aligned. It makes it a little less parallel. It gives it more diagonals. Like diagonals are usually more interesting visually. Uh, and since you're not clasping fingers and covering intersections, so you want to bring up maybe that arm higher and you know have one arm like this and then the other arm be like that. Uh, don't forget, as you move forward, you know, chest and wall, I mean, it could be a slight post change, maybe a slight adjustment. And I still think it could be something where... Why is it so hard to find a good man? I don't think you have to do it, but you know, imagine she's maybe just a bit closer and at the very end, uh, like she would... Most, again, it's a bit much, but lean over so that her head is resting on this. Again, it might be too much, but it could just be you're coming down. And when she says all this, she's actually leaning forward a bit with the head down. And then at the very end, she goes back and leans back. I would just have some changes because as you scrub through, you can see how this is static. So you want some changes that um, for visual interest, but also show a change uh, emotionally, right? So you worked on this guy. So this one, I would say, I think you can start off with him a bit further back so that when he goes forward and stops here, like he has somewhere to go, just a little bit of move forward. And then that is great. I wouldn't really move this. This looks visually as if the door is pushing the foot. Keep that steady. But the arm move is great. For her, yeah, it's better. It's a bit clean how she gets to that handle. Whoops, what is going on here? I think it's me. No, strange. Sorry. So just a bit, a bit too clean on how she gets to this. Child needs some weight shifts in the hips on this. Some complexities in that. It seems a bit too straight. You know, she can have a bit of a maybe like a wider or a closer stance. That seems not too bad, but it seems like all pose to pose, starting at the same time into into this, maybe like first a bit of a weight shift over, then an adjustment in the body, and then she turns around. And then same thing here, when you go over here this way, it would overshoot a little bit to this, and then by the time she gets there, she would reach this. But even then, it could be slightly off. Like this seems very straight and parallel. This seems like a default pose. So just think about, this could be, I mean, this could be a robot, you know, hanging off something. Like, think about, is this pose representing her emotional state? So careful how you pose things. And offsets, asymmetry, stuff like that. <sighs> Maybe a bit fast too. Boom. Like that's like someone punched her. You might have to extend the shot of it. You know, or take a step so that uh, not so much of a step. So she's closer to the wall. So the timing would be the same. But because she has to travel less of a distance, it will be slower. Just again, like this should represent her emotional state. It also looks like if I would put a camera from the side, it looks like she is moving with her roots straight back instead of, you know, a bit of a, uh, an arc. And same thing here. This this gets better when you have a slight twist, right? Uh, moving over this way. But some complexities, but that's going to come once you have offsets in legs and everything. <sighs> so just, a, just a bit fast. You want every move, every body pose, everything she does to reflect <gasps> that, that sound. Oh, like, oh man, what a bummer. So the speed of all this here doesn't reflect bummer. This pose doesn't reflect bummer, except the facial and maybe low shoulders, but this could just be, you know, she's also ready to draw a gun. 
in the duel. So watch out for stuff like that. All right, that's it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.